Okay, we'll put the uh, snapshot close-up video of these. Oh, like that. that was uh, my golf ball was playing at the weekend. The Strix and Optic cracking. Right, six month catch up with these shoes. Um, as we paid, I think it was 20, I can't remember if I paid £27 for these or if it was 24 Anyway, Gore-Tex lined, carry more. Still keeping my feet dry. And not slipping either. I mean, get a close-up of that tread. That really is a tread that, it's meant for trail walking, but I tell you now, they work on the golf course. You are sound footed with these on and like I say um, I haven't given them a brush yet but all you do is just give them a light um, brush because they're sweaty leather brings them up like new got to be the best purchase for the winter golf season ever or I'd go as far as to say that um, if it was heavy rain or a really wet summer or autumn Keep these in your golf um, boot in your car uh, just in case because unlike all these expensive golf shoes out there that I've bought, you've bought, we've all spent a fortune on them. I've got good golf shoes which I will wear in the summer but they let in, they leak. These things dry as a bone, still dry as a bone. So like, you know, review, catch up, comfortable as. Um, value for money, eh? Carrying more. Who'd have, be who'd have uh, believed it? That, you know, a trail hiking shoe that isn't designed for golf would work so well and keep your feet so comfortable. Even when you're carrying your bag, you know, there's a real good support in them. Probably because, you know, they're meant for trail walking. Kind of like hill walking idea but I'm telling you now uh, long term review now after this quick review we did they've held up absolutely fantastic buy hats off we picked them up in uh, Sports Direct probably other places you can get them one thing I would say and I think maybe a few of you asked this at the time yeah, yeah they are big made now I'm a 12 but these are a UK size 11 and they're big, big made. Um, all I did to make them slightly more comfortable was I took the existing insoles out and I put a pair of, it's like gel insoles in, but most people do that anyway, don't they? So, um, that is a catch up on the winter golf shoes review. Uh, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. It's all for charity. Macmillan, Healthy Heroes, Shelter UK. Where all the ad revenue goes. So when you subscribe, you're helping the channel. So, uh, you know, uh, thanks for all your support. Videos filmed on the Nothing Phone One. Um, from Nothing, who are supporting the channel. Uh, which is quite ironic. Whether or Nothing is supporting the channel. Um, but... Uh, yeah, so it just goes to show you, you do not have to pay £200 plus on a pair of uh, golf shoes uh, for the winter just to get them completely ruined trudging through the you know wet puddles and these things. They've been through absolutely everything. I mean like, like water going up to there, still no letting. Thanks for watching.